In 2014, I co-founded the Jolly Jaffa Music Foundation, a 501c3 charitable organization. When the coronavirus pandemic began, we suspended all of our classes and programs and fundraising events. And then last month, sadly, our board of directors voted unanimously to close doors and terminate the corporation. It was a really difficult decision, but it was the right thing to do. And if you are in this place at the end of a road, um, I'd like to share my insights and some things to consider as you move forward. Welcome to Morning Tea. Hi, I'm Joanne Jolie, business owner and entrepreneur, licensed yacht helmsman, mother, grandmother, and musical artist. Coming to the end is a loss. For me, I had a big vision and plans, sort of like change the world with the power of music plans, and now they're over. And where I spent those hours every week is now in an empty space. So my question for myself is, what now? One thing we know is that everything we've done to this moment, to this day, has taught us something. Now we know better. We are wiser, we're stronger. Um, it's really an exciting time to reevaluate our skill sets and reassess what do we really want. It's really important to keep a loose grip. Don't hang on too tight to anything, no matter how good it is. Life is always forcing us to let go. Uh, your children are going to grow up and leave you. Well, they ought to. Pandemics sweep the world and our way of life is upended. Um, and by the same token, enjoy every moment of every good thing in our life because for the same reasons they can be gone too soon. There may be a feeling of failure because you couldn't find a way to keep things going, but this is really a misplaced emotion. And it's part of the grieving um, and the loss. You know, we've been impacted by circumstances beyond our control and we need to choose to refocus our thoughts and hold on to the many successes, which there are. Whatever is next is not starting over, it's a continuum. It's sort of like rolling from one place to the next. And it can be looked at also as the completion of a chapter in an adventure story. Um, the characters, they're still being developed and the mysteries, they're waiting to be solved. And the experience gained has set us up to do better in that next chapter. I can say for myself, my intuition was very good before, now it's more fine-tuned. And I can make important decisions more quickly, I know that I can better deal with situations in the moment rather than being blindsided and thrown off balance and wishing that I had managed things better. So here's a word for you, ready? Fresh. Isn't that a lovely word? Like juicy fresh fruit compared to stinking rotting fruit? Fresh beginnings are just that, they are delicious. You can get out of a rut you've been stuck in. You can start new and more quality relationships. If there were constraints on you, you're now free of them. And look for the silver linings. Although my charity is closing doors, we've been able to be a blessing to another charity that's struggling. Uh, and our assets that we will be donating to them will breathe life into their wonderful organization. And I have to say that we built something special. We brought the power of music to many underprivileged children and seniors through the music lessons and the music therapy programs and classes. I served as the executive director and worked with amazing professionals on our board of directors and grew relationships with supporters and donors who are some of the most wonderful people I've ever had the privilege of getting to know. Change is always disrupting, whether it's good or bad. You know, when I'm sailing on the ocean with a slow, steady breeze and the hours pass by and I'm zoned out, I'm happily on autopilot, literally, the boat's on autopilot, just floating and then something changes. Perhaps the wind changes direction or it intensifies or a hazard appears on the, on the horizon, a large tanker is coming my way and I need to uh, adjust my course slightly. It stirs, it stimulates you, it makes you sit up and it snaps you out of your daydream, it puts you back on alert. So frame the disappointment with, this is a new chapter, this is a fresh change, I am now ready for something greater, the best is coming, get excited, I am. Thank you so much for being here. I put out new content every week, so subscribe and go over to joanjolie.com to be on my official mail list. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.